Today we're installing this oil catch can on the Camaro. And this is a 2011 SS manual. So if you have an automatic or if you have a V6 or if you have a different year, different generation Camaro, I may not be able to help answer your questions, but go ahead and drop them in the comments. All right, we're back in the garage today and we're gonna be installing this oil catch can with a drain valve on the Camaro. To start, we're gonna disconnect the PCV lines right now, which are right there and right there underneath all this. And then we're gonna find a spot where this can mount and the hoses will reach and whatnot. So let's get to it. Hopefully at least some of this will be caught on, on camera. Uh, but we can take these hoses, just move them out of the way. And our hoses that we're after are behind this. And if you have a flathead screwdriver handy, you can just pry that tab up. This middle tab here, and then this module will slide off the bracket. We'll disconnect this sensor up here. And that'll give this enough room to move out of the way so you can get to the hoses underneath it. Okay, so what I did is I just disconnected each end of that module here and set it aside. That way, maybe you can see what's going on in there. It right, looks like this one might be a little bit easier to see. Maybe not since everything wants to be uh, in front of it. Kind of push the connector into the car, pull that tab out. There you go. So now that we got this piece off, I'm going to cut it in half, slide a hose over each end, and then that will be, you know, to and from the catch can. So this catch can came with three different size fittings, and this hose is almost the exact same size as this fitting. So if I buy a hose to slip over this fitting, it will fit over this existing uh, snap fit hose. And since I have to run to the store to buy hose, I need to know how much I need to buy. So I'm going to try and find a place to mount this. Um, I have heard that this little clip that came on the back breaks off very easy, so I'm just gonna you know, try and not use it. So what I've come up with is a little crappy bracket that I made, mounts to the radiator fan bolt, and then it bends twice. It uses the same mounting holes that came with this can, but it doesn't use the bracket. And then I'm not going to use these hoses because they're really cheap and they feel like they're going to collapse on themselves uh, just with vacuum. But so I can get an estimate of the length. You know, it looks like if I get this much hose, it'll be plenty. And then the pedcock I'm going to put on this blue line right about there. So I can reach down and drain it uh, with a hose probably through that hole. So whenever I go to drain it, I'll just kick a bucket under the car flip the valve, let it drain. So you can see when I screw this thing in, it's not all the way on the bottom. And that means if I open this valve, it'll only drain down to that level. So what I'm going to do, take a paint marker, I'm going to try and mark the threads on this thing. Hopefully the red stays on there. I'll unthread this, cut it, then it'll be much closer to being flush. So that way the can will be all the way empty when I drain it. Alternatively, I could just mount it, like, you know, thread it back until it's flush and leave it like that. I just want this to be as small as possible which is why I'm trying to get this to butt almost all the way up and thread it all the way up to like here and then cut it. Okay, so I'm gonna cut these threads and I don't have a Freeace NPT die, but I do have this nut that's very close size and a drill and a tap. So I will make a nut to fit on that thread so I can thread it on, cut it, and then unthread this and fix that first cut thread. So now you got your 3 ace NPT threaded nut, 
And you'll notice the first knot I did was really thick, uh, kind of an idiot because when you thread that on, it doesn't really leave a whole lot of threads to get cut off. So I redid it with a much thinner nut. That way I can thread it on. I can cut across it and then loosen the nut and it will fix that first thread that I hit with the grinder. Now it threads almost all the way up. On the inside, it is actually a little bit countersunk, so it worked out pretty good. Okay, so I've put some blue Loctite on these screws to hold them in so that way the can doesn't fall off that mount. And I used some Loctite 545 on this, some thread sealant, uh, to make sure that that doesn't leak and create a vacuum leak or something on my car. And now I need to run to the store and buy three feet of hose that will fit this nipple. Before you know it, I'll be back with some hose. So I got these fittings tightened in. I got this bracket tightened down, Loctite on it. So I got my 15 30 seconds hose, three feet of it, and that's all I need. So while editing this video, I realized that I had made a mistake. I had said the right thing and then immediately did the wrong thing. Top port up there is the output of the catch can, and the input of the catch can is the lower port, which of course you can't really see because everything's put back together now. All right, now that everything's hooked up up here, you can reconnect all uh, this stuff uh, how it used to be. And there you have it, it is installed. You can put, in this case I got a little dipstick, put that back in, and then I am going to run a hose off the end of this and tie it down there somewhere so I can drain this thing. Everything costs $50 total. That's, that's the catch can, uh, the hose, headcock, and the barb fitting that goes on it, and then the hose that is attached to it. So there you go. Pretty cheap. Should work just as good. I just, being that it's a pretty small can, I'll have to drain it a little more often. We'll see if it freezes in winter, but this drain line is down there at least, touching a radiator hose or very close to, and then the whole thing's kind of close to the radiator. So hopefully it will not freeze, or if it does freeze, it will thaw out while I'm driving, and then I can just get home, pop the hood, and drain it. Like always, if I did something stupid, let me know. If I did something good, let me know. Good luck. Happy modding.